Alrighty, you guys, what's going on? So today, we got a little bit of an Attack of Warehouse unboxing. Now, like I said a while back, you know, I made that video of me talking about Tackle Warehouse and stuff, saying that I probably won't buy much else from there. But I've been looking on it and stuff, just kind of looking at Tackle and stuff, because I love looking at Tackle and lures and stuff. And I noticed there was quite a few good sales going on, and there was a couple baits that I really wanted um, before I say I'm done with Tackle Warehouse. Now, I didn't get one of the baits I wanted, which was a Matt Lures um, uh, Bullhead Catfish Swim Bait. I didn't get one of those because they were out, and uh, I was not going to buy uh, something I didn't want because they were out of what I actually wanted. So I got some stuff in here that uh, I actually only can remember one bait that I know I got in here, and um, there should be like three or four more in there, so I don't really remember what all is in here. So got my yellow knife, open it up, and it is taped up, it's not open. I have not even looked in it yet, so even, I don't know what's in here, except for the one thing. I do know there, what one thing that's in here is. Alrighty, it's open now. Put my knife up so I don't drop it. There it is, just got it open. Take the paper off. There's the paper. Look at the, uh, the price real quick. So... This was a Tackle Warehouse order, um, so there's four things in here, and it was a price of $34.31. Um, shipping was $6.75. So yeah, okay, so first thing that I see that's in here is this finesse jig. I actually do remember buying this. Um, I don't remember what color it is in. Let's see if it says it on here. Bama Craw is the color that I bought. This is a Strike King finesse jig. Um, I actually, now that I'm looking at the bait, I do remember buying it. Um, it looks like a really good jig. It's got kind of a light wire hook, which is good for sometimes. There it is. We'll most likely pair this up with a um, either a Strike King Rage uh, Crawl, uh, a full one, or a Rodent, possibly. I'd say most likely what I'll put on it is probably a Rage Crawl. But uh, that looks really good. It's got some orange and some green. I like orange and green baits. Um, uh, for crawl imitating uh, lures so orange with a little bit of green or actually green with a little bit of orange is really good and I like the way the heads designed so yeah gives it a smaller profile so excited to fish that um, I think that the reason why I ended up buying that was so I could fish it you know uh, fishing it around docks you know stuff like that so then, this here was one of my main reasons for buying this entire thing, was this deal right here. And it is called the Huddleston Deluxe uh, Weedless Shad. So I wanted to get a 68, but what uh, made me not get the 68 was a couple different reasons. A, they were out of the one color that I wanted. And B, I just got to thinking that it was just a little bit overpriced. I'm probably going to get a 68 at some point anyway, just because I want one. Let's see if I can get this bag open. But this here is the blue, I think it's blue shad or blue back herring color or something like that. Okay, I'm going to cut this Ziploc bag open since I can't open, get the bait out by itself. There we go. So yeah, this is still not the exact color that I wanted to get, but it is still a good color. Um, I've got some, I've got quite a few different baits in this color. So one thing that I do notice about it is I don't see the eyelet. Oh, there it is. You got to pull it back. You got to pull back the rubber to find the eyelet. And it is weedless. It's a weedless shad, like I said. So that's what it looks like. 
It's got the small vortex tail on it. This is like a four inch, 4.75 inch or something like that. What, is it? what does it say? Uh, it doesn't say the size on it. But anyway, yeah. That there is what it looks like. It is a weedless bait, so basically it's hollow in here above the hook system. And when it comes down, the hook comes up. So it's sort of like a frog swim bait. You know, it's weedless like a frog. But it's a swim bait, obviously. And it's a Huddleston. So that's pretty cool that I now own a Huddleston. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know when I'll be able to fish this. I don't... I mean, it's... It's cold outside. Um, I think that today's high was 25 or something like that. And the warmest day in the 10-day forecast for this whole... Um, the next 10 days is I think Sunday or Saturday and it's only supposed to get up to 40 which is still above freezing which will be nice because I think for the past like week and a half to two weeks it hasn't been above freezing so yeah that'd be nice no. excuse me that'll be nice to finally see some above freezing temperatures so the next bait is this here this here is a Savage Gear 3D Rat okay so let me get this thing out. Now this thing here will be something I don't fish for a while because it's still quite cold. And this here is, uh, I think it's a topwater bait, like wake bait. I got it in, uh, what color is it called? I think it's just brown. I think that's all the good color is called. Here's an extra tail. There's an extra tail. I think that's, yeah, just a different color than the other tail. Put that up there, then we'll get the rat itself out. Okay, I think that's all the pieces to it. Uh, it does have a hook keeper on one of the treble hooks, which is odd. I don't know why it's like that, but it is sort of a cool bait. I do like that it has two hook placements, or two uh, line tie placements. I'd say that this one here will make it dive a little bit deeper, possibly, uh, than the one that's inside of the bill. And it's got three segments. It's got the head, the middle, and then the uh, the tail and the butt area. And what I don't like about this that I actually did not know was that the feet are made of, and the feet and the ears are made of soft plastic. I don't really like that, but I don't know. The reason why I got this was, A, it was on sale, and B, I thought it would be a cool bait to use. Um, I have had some luck with the Live Target hollow body rats, and, um, you know, this one here is quite a bit bigger. I'd actually most likely fish it without a tail. I think it would work just fine without a tail. But, yeah, this is, I think, the 7-inch or whatever. I don't remember where I put the package at for it. There it is. I just have a size on it. No, I guess it don't have a size on it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the 7 inch, or the, the, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, about a 7 inch bait, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say about 7 inch bait. It might be an 8 inch, I don't know, does the receipt say? Mm, yeah, 7.75, so almost an 8 inch. It's just a 7 and 3 quarter inch bait. And yeah, does it have rattles? Yes, it does have rattles. So it's got some rattles in it. So, yeah, uh, I think that it'll be a pretty cool bait to fish with. Um, I don't really uh, know why it only has one hook. I thought that these came with two hooks, but they don't. So. Yeah, it'll be something cool to fish with. But anyway, yeah. So, now, the final thing that's in here, and it's a big thing. Um, this was actually on sale. Um, five bucks. And it was still on sale, though. And these are Big Bite Baits Creature Baits. Now, this is a pack of 25 Creature Baits. Um, this is a pack of 25 of them. And that's quite a few baits uh, for the, what was it, five dollars? Yeah, five bucks. And I got them in June bug color, which is a color that I have fished quite a bit. 
and I've caught quite a few fish with that color. So there it is. It's basically literally a copy of brush hog. It looks exactly like a brush hog. Um, I actually don't see a difference from this and a brush hog. It looks just like a brush hog just put in the Big Bite Baits packaging. But yeah, it's in June Bug color. If you don't know what a June Bug color is, it's basically just purple with green flake. Um, and June Bug works actually really well around here. Um, it looks, it works just about as good as a green pumpkin or some other color like that. But yeah, some Big Bite Baits creature baits. And those are in a pack of 25. They're four inch creature baits in the June Bug color. And uh, it's a pretty good pack for that uh, that price. I think that uh, 25 baits for five bucks is a pretty good deal. So yeah, that's what I got. I got the rat, the Huddleston. The Huddleston's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, hopefully it'll be good. Um, we'll find out when I go fishing. But yeah, I got the rat, the Huddleston, the little Huddleston, the finesse jig. The finesse jig is pretty cool. Uh, yep. And the package of the 10, 25 uh, Big Bite Baits uh, creature, basically a brush hog. So, yeah, that's what I got. Um, am I not satisfied with anything? I'm, I'm pretty well satisfied with everything. I thought some things were different. I thought this rat had two hooks, but it only has one. Um... Hopefully, you know, the, the fish will have to hit it pretty well dead center right in the middle for the uh, them to get the hook. But uh, the Huddleston, be 100% honest with you guys, I wish I would have got, I wish I would have got one of the uh, uh, 68s or one of the Matt Lure swim baits. Um... Be 100% honest with you, I don't like this bait because it is, it feels like a pretty flimsy plastic. And the hook is kind of odd on how the fish will be hooked. I don't think that it, the hookup ratio will be very good on this bait. But it, I've already bought it. It was only $8. It wasn't like I spent 20 something dollars on it. You know, uh, I don't really know. Um, this Saturday, or this Sunday, I might buy something else off of Tackle Warehouse. Or I might just buy some stuff off of eBay uh, because, you know, eBay is a lot quicker. This here took, I think I bought this last Friday or Thursday, and it's Friday. So it took about a week or um, eight days, something around there, and eBay would take maybe four or five days at the most so yeah i think i'm going to buy some stuff off of ebay instead of going back on tackle warehouse because um same kind of deal that i had last time you know shipping is a little bit too much and uh you know basically that and um so anyway yeah so i hope you guys like this uh, little unboxing video i know i didn't have like a 700 hundred dollar order like some people do on the internet but um Anyway, yeah, I just had a few things. The total was $34.31 with $6.75 shipping. Shipping is still pretty bad, but uh, anyway, yeah. And for everybody that's probably going to say you should have got something over 50 I only had um, 30 Actually, I think I only had $35 to spend, so I didn't have enough to buy $50 worth of baits. So thanks for watching. Bye.